What is going on, Smart Speed community? We are excited to bring the latest features and updates, all designed to streamline your workflows and help boost your efficiency. As we embark on our new month, let's dive into the rich array of developmental features in this edition of Smart Suite Newsletter. So first of all, we're actually really excited to talk about some features that came out regarding forms. So a much requested enhancement to our forms feature. With this enhancement, you can now dynamically show or hide entire sections of fields in your forms based on conditional logic. It functions similarly to conditional fields, but offers even greater control. So another great feature is we've actually enhanced our linked records printing option. Now, instead of solely displaying linked record titles, the print output mirrors the display settings you've chosen for the field. So by going inside here, if I were to press print, this update allows you to incorporate additional linked record fields, including your printouts when desired. So as you can see right here, I have a record and within this, I can actually click on it and then go into print. There's actually an entire help article around this. Uh, that's really cool. So make sure to check out the entire newsletter for that. You'll get an entire help article that'll show you how to do this. But yeah, it will actually print out this in the format that you'd want based off what was it within the linked records and additional linked record field content in your printouts when you want it. Also, what's really nice is just, have you noticed that the linked records do look a lot better from an aesthetic standpoint right here? I'd like to say that I think it's a much better step up and this is a much better view than previously had. Another great update is that we've actually streamlined the process for adding choices and single select fields. So instead of using the dropdown field and add new option, you can paste values directly into grid cells, then allow users to create new choices. When that setting is enabled, this will work. So if I go to the settings here in priority, allow users to create new choices and say, for example, I was coming at this from another example one here. So new task, content task, and I were to make a new field choice called content as a example. I press save. Say I were to copy this, I could then paste it over and pop and content would show up. Note that solution managers always possessed this capability irrespective of the field settings. You also now in grid view can do bulk record duplication. So this is actually really great. All you need to do is check the boxes next to each record now. And you'll see right here at the bottom, if I were to press duplicate and boom, and then all those are going to be instantly duplicated. Now, when the unique record titles option is activated, so obviously in the field settings, if you require entries to be unique, then what's going to happen is it's going to add this copy one or copy two uh, next to the different names to make it different. You also have the ability now to easily copy the content of each record to your clipboard by clicking that checkbox and then pressing copy or clicking copy right here and it allows you to paste data back into SmartSuite or into other tools or spreadsheets. So if I were to go to sheets.google.com and do another one right here, I paste this and boom, we'd go into the entire spreadsheet. Another really great views update is that now we have filtering that's more specific. So if I go to this section right here in the filtering, you'll now see this option for filtering group. Essentially what this does is this does allow us to do and an or logic in a row for multiple of these and it'll stay the same. But if we want to have a group that subset of this, we can add a filter or <laughs> a subsetted filter group. And for that, we can go two layers deep of filter group with and an or logic within it. Now, I have an entire video dedicated to this on the Smart Suite channel, so make sure to check that out. But this works the exact same way as how it works with other platforms. Now, the last thing that we have here that I'm really pumped about is Smart Suite now has Smart Docs that allow for collaborative mode. So you can see real time changes made by others, preventing accidental overwrites. So if you go into any document, that's a Smart Doc. So essentially, if I were to go in here and type anything within this, my counterpart team member would see that exactly as I'm in two accounts right now, see what was being written in real time to avoid any mishaps and errors where somebody would write something and then the other person would overwrite in that area. So many issues are solved with this now, really excited. Collaborators cursors positions are highlighted in color and their names are gonna be displayed in colored pills. Saving the record preserves combined edits and even if not all the changes have been saved, it's a game changer for teamwork. Now we can talk a little bit about some of the stuff that's on Smart Suite's roadmap. Uh, one of the main things I did want to talk about soon is that there's going to be a dependency update coming in Gantt charts. For those of you that are big project managers or task managers, event managers, dependencies are going to be huge. So that's one to bring up moving forward. We're also going to have the option to 
group different uh, solutions on the homepage, which we're really excited about. And we're also going to have a feature that allows you to check your automation run history, and you're going to be able to rerun failed runs from the past of automations, similar to what you'd see in things like Zapier. New updates include permission levels, uh, an integration with Bardeen, which we're really excited about, and much, much more. And not to tease things out, but there might be some whiteboarding in your future if you do work in SmartSuite. We're excited for all those things to come, but for now, we'd like to thank you for the continuous support, and we would like you to check out this video on how to improve your skills using SmartSuite even more.